Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to use the Oracle Live SQL. So for this, you go to the Google and there you type Oracle Live SQL. So here you can see you will get this first link. Uh, just click on that, and here you can see this type of window will appear. Uh, so on right right upper corner, you can see the sign in option is there. So just click on there, sign in. If your account is there, so you just directly type here username and password uh, here and like uh, you sign in. If your account is not there, so you just create your account by clicking here uh, in the create account and you fill all the details. So you can see email address, password, retype your password, country. So everything, this data you, uh, you should fill and click on the uh, create account button. So after that, you will get the verification email uh, on here given email address and there you just uh, confirm your email address or verify your uh, account and then you will be uh, able to access this particular account. Now uh, here I am having my account. So let me just type my username. Click on the next button and here you type the password and click on the sign in button. So you can see you will be redirected to your page and on right hand side you can see now I am signing over here as my email ID and on uh, left hand side you can see this type of option is there. It is like a menu window. So just click over here and you can see this type of options are available uh, to you. So here you can see SQL worksheet is there, my session is there, schema is there, quick SQL is there, my script is there, my tutorial is there and code library is there. So for uh, current, we will see how to uh, use the SQL worksheet. Okay, so just click on that worksheet and here you can see uh, you can type your code or the queries over here and this is your um, editor window and here you will get the output. So if you are typing over here, and if you are clicking on the run button on right hand side, right upper corner, you can see a run button is there. So after typing query, click on the run button. And here you can see some actions are available like a view session, reset session, maximum row ref preferences, show live number, auto close bracket, worksheet font size. So these options are available. So you use these options for uh, performing uh, some uh, actions on this um, sheet. Okay. So now here, let me show you the code library. Uh, so under code library, you can see some uh, in, uh, like uh, the code sections are available. Uh, so introduction to SQL. Here you can see after clicking on that, uh, it contains the creating table. And in creating table, uh, you can see the some syntax are there, some examples are there. So how to create, insert, how to use that DDL, DML, DCL queries, everything is there in the uh, code library. Now you can see uh, like here below, below that uh, introduction to SQL, you can see script sections are there. So the script is available for employee and the department table. And you can see here, these are the uh, example, like here they have created department table, here they have created employee table and the table is created and you can see on right hand side, they have comment that particular statement. So create department table, which will be the parent table of the employee table. So everything they have mentioned. And if you just click on the run script button here, you can see what it is showing. It is showing that the 22 statement, statements are there in this script. So you just perform the action. Uh, so it will be running your uh, 22 uh, that statement successfully. You can see success 22 statements ran successfully and four objects are created. Now here you can see uh, employee table is there and the DEPT department table is there. So now I am going to the SQL worksheet and there uh, let me just run that command okay so already the script is run so now what i want i want to perform one operation on that run a script so here i am just using select star from department so dept table name is there and just click on the run button so you can see here our 
table is uh, like we get the output so DEPT department so this is what our output so similarly you can use the another like EMP table so here EMP is one table and just click on the run button so you can see this is what our employee table that means that already written script we have used for the some other operations now if you want to download this output file that is uh, this uh, EMP file so you can download here so that uh, CSV file is downloaded you can see download.csv file is there now suppose you want to perform some actions uh, from uh, using this so you can perform okay so this is what one use of this uh, now I want to create the new worksheet okay so here uh, I am creating the new table so suppose I want to create one student table so let me create create table student okay suppose let me type student cs6 uh, is my table name in that I want to create two column that is the roll number is my first column the data type of this is number and suppose I am maximum uh, 10 um, digit I will store and the next one is name I want to store the name of the student and the data type is varchar2 and up to 25 character I can store so this is what uh, only two column I want to uh, create in the student CS6 table so let me run this so click on the run button and you can see here a table is created so output you can see the below the table is created now what I want I want to see the description of that table so here I am using DESC and the table name so my table name is student CS6 and now here you can see in this worksheet multiple commands are there so now from this multiple command I want to run this so just select that command and click on the run button now you can see this is the output of the second command that is describe student 6 uh, CS6 so it is describing two columns are there and the data type of that column and if you want to download that CSV file you can download it so this is how you can uh, use this SQL Oracle Live SQL and if you want to save this so you can see uh, like view session you can save this session by clicking on the save button and here you can give the name as uh, sessions or whatever you want to give so suppose I am giving the name as session for CS6 suppose and here with this you can make it uh, the uh, apply the visibility like private public and publish and along with this they have given the meaning of that private meaning of public and meaning of publish if you want to type any description you can type the description over here and click on the okay so here you have to write the description so this session is for cs6 suppose this is what my description and click on the save session okay so now uh, your session is already saved close this and now here you can see on the left hand side you can see my session tab is there so just click on that uh, my sessions okay now you here you can see the latest session is this one so this what we have already run all these 22 and now here you can see this is what our uh, latest session right so statement 25 and 26 so if you want to reset or if you want to perform uh, that replace script or delete statement download statement so you can perform uh, these actions on uh, on this session so, so suppose what I want I want to execute this so here you can see edit statement 25 if you want to run that statement 25 so you can rerun that statement again if you want to delete you can see delete button is there so suppose you want to describe that so with the help of that you can see suppose I am running that statement again so you can see so whatever the session is already there if you want to repeat something on that earlier session so you can do with the help of this so this is very uh, good um, live oracle sql so you can use this and same if you want to use this from your mobile so it is easily accessible from mobile as well uh, so this is all about the uh, oracle live sql thank you